So hi, hello and welcome, Microbe Hunter here uh, and uh, today I wanted to share with you a few YouTube uh, channels that I found relating to amateur microscopy, not my own, but I found them online or other people have written me and uh, requested that I do a little shout out. So and today is the day, if you go down into the description of this video, then you can see a whole list of different microscopy related YouTube channels. Some are more more uh, recent than others, others have not been updating quite as frequently, others are very frequently updated. You have a look yourself and then you can also of course subscribe to those channels. As a matter of fact, I encourage you to do that. And uh, there, that's basically the first idea. Yes, of course, and if you also have a YouTube channel which is microscopy related, and if it's not in the description because I didn't know about this, then just uh, write a comment and then people are also able to see that uh, you have a, your own YouTube channel. However, uh, I have a second suggestion as well. And uh, this is uh, to all of the microscopy YouTubers out there. If you want to make uh, those videos more visible, then I suggest that from now on, either in the description or in the title, that you include the hashtag and that's my recommendation now, the hashtag amateur microscopy. Um, if you include this hashtag, then this uh, tells YouTube to link those videos together and then YouTube knows that they have kind of the same theme. But as an even bigger advantage, it makes it much easier for people to find videos. So if uh, you then search for hashtag amateur microscopy, then YouTube will display all of those videos that have this hashtag. Um, so even smaller YouTube channels will get much more exposure this way. But not only by searching, you can even then include a separate URL. So for example, youtube.com slash hashtag slash amateur microscopy will then display all of those videos that are labeled with this hashtag. And I think it's a very good and a very convenient thing to yeah, make videos more, yeah, expose the videos more. And by the way, the first three hashtags that you write down in your description or in the title, they also appear as little links um, above the title of your YouTube videos. So I think uh, it's a very good and a very convenient way um, to make videos visible. Um, and I hope uh, that this way, yeah, people will stay motivated and keep on making YouTube videos. And uh, even if your channel is not about amateur microscopy, if you just included uh, one or two videos about that, if you label those with the hashtag amateur microscopy, well, then only those videos will also show up there. So it also makes it uh, quite nice to filter out the content a little bit. Yeah, so that is basically all I wanted to say today. Um, yeah, do visit the, the channels uh, that I've uh, put into the description. You can find them below. Of course, please um, also subscribe to this channel here. And of course, if you don't know yet, I do have a main uh, YouTube channel as well, um, which uh, I've of course also included down there in the description because this here is now the YouTube channel for the more technical discussions uh, concerning macroscopy. But my main YouTube channel, I will actually share that of what uh, you can see uh, under the microscope. Happy microbe hunting as always. Bye bye. See you around next time.